So I'm just getting stuff set up here on the kayak. As you can see, I got a computer here to start drawing winners eventually. So I got my computer, I got Bixby motor, I got microphone. I basically set up a studio here on the kayak. We're reaching 50,000 subscribers here very soon. And so we're gonna end up doing a giveaway. So when we hit 50,000 subscribers, that's when the giveaway is gonna happen. Just one moment here. I'm just getting stuff set up here. This might be a test here at the moment. So I might lose you and I might go back online. So if I lose you here, check back in in like another minute and I will end up getting back online. I'm just testing this out at the moment. Um, and then I'm gonna be back online if I, if I, get, if I lose you. Otherwise, ideally, I'm gonna to try to keep you on here a second. So I got my laptop set up here and we'll be able to draw the winners for uh, the giveaways. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, we, in 2013, started this YouTube channel and it has grown dramatically. It's what moved me to my home here in Florida. You can tell I'm the one with all the, the kayaks in the backyard. <laughs> um, but really excited to do this with you and uh, appreciate you guys. So um, if you haven't already, consider subscribing and that will um, help you at least get entered into one of the giveaways. The other giveaway is on our Skiff Project Part 3 video. So if you go to that video, um, basically all you have to do is comment on that video and you have to subscribe. But just give me a second here. I'm gonna put the phone down a second. I gotta put my laptop down. <laughs> So just hang in there with me a second. I gotta get the motor in this kayak here so that that way I uh, can operate one-handed. Otherwise it's kind of hard to paddle or pedal or do everything here. So I'm getting set up here with my motor. <laughs> so with the motor on the kayak, I'll be able to better be hands-free for this giveaway. So this kayak here that I'm on is a Vite, or it's a, this one's a Lightning kayak and it's the Strike series. And it has a pedal drive. The pedal drive is actually sitting right back there. And I have it rigged up with a Bixby motor. So I even am, I'm running the phone even from the Bixby battery. So I actually have a, a cable here attached to the battery. So now I can just motor. So. There, now we are able to motor away and the motor is currently running. Okay. So I need to get this uh, set up here where I can have my laptop out and where I can end up uh, looking at the channel. And when we hit 50,000 subscribers here, which might have already even happened. Okay, so. Hey folks, okay, there you go. Okay, now I think I got everything pretty much. Yep. I'm gonna to try to get out into the open uh, wide part of the canal. So yeah, right here's the setup right now. I even got my laptop here so I can do the drawings. Um, I should have probably got this uh, live video started when I was already in the open area, 
but I was just too excited. So, I mean, I, I just, I, I like talking to you guys and I like, I like being, I don't know, able to chat. Hey, John, John Anderson. Okay, so right now we got the Bixby going and uh, if you've seen the channel, you've seen that I've used Bixby all the time, but this isn't gonna be just shout outs on sponsors and different things. Although they have also, along with you guys, helped um, get my channel to where it is today. Um, without the sponsors, I would be very, very hard up at, at being able to run this channel. I mean, it's, it's very expensive. Um, so like Bixby, um, they, they don't pay me just for anything. Bixby actually um, pays me if I sell a, a Bixby. So I bought my first Bixby and then I ended up making some videos on it and they contacted me and said, hey, you wanna join our program and you can earn some commission? I said, sure. And so they ended up getting me some commission for selling Bixby's. And those little things help run the channel. Um, and then your guys' support helps run the channel. I mean, right now we got 20 viewers on, um, you know, I, you guys, I wish I could get everyone on just so I could tell them thank you. Um, but we're hitting 50,000 subscribers and that's just a huge milestone that I just can't fathom at the moment. Um, the opportunities you created for my family is dramatic. I, I can't even begin to tell you um, without possibly crying. Um, it, it's been a lot, a lot. Uh, having that extra income to, you know, with the channel, um, being able to, to move to this beautiful place here to be able to do what I love. Um, that's, that's been a dream come true. Um, even having the extra money, I think, um, with our channel helped my wife and I be able to spend the extra money, um, to be able to seek out professional help, to be able to have our daughter. Um, we, we struggled to have our baby and, um, that extra income actually, I, it got us sailor. Um, I, I, I think I mean, it was expensive. So, I mean, if I just only had the one income and I didn't have YouTube also to help out a little bit, I, I don't know if we could have done it. I mean, I'm sure we could have, um, but it would have been hard, really hard. Yeah, so the motor is so quiet. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, BMAC. I, I'm so thrilled with 50,000 subscribers. I can't really even fathom, honestly, 100,000 100, subscribers. But if we hit 100,000 subscribers by July 4th uh, of next year, I'm giving away that, that flat skiff that I built. That, that boat is going to a subscriber, um, particularly Peter Ruiz. Yeah, he was the one that first commented on that video. Um, he said he wanted to buy that boat for him and his son. And when I saw that, I instantly had a little soft spot in me and I said, you know what, if we hit 50,000, if we hit another 50,000 subscribers, if we hit 100,000 subscribers by July 4th of 2021, I would give that boat to Peter Ruiz who commented on the video. So it's gonna be a stretch. That, that's gonna be a stretch, no doubt. Um, if you guys can help share the videos and, and help you know, like the videos, um, things like that, maybe we can do it. I don't know. Um, rest assured, it's not going to be the only time I do something big like that and, and do a giveaway. I'm not giving up on YouTube anytime soon. If anything, I'm actually, I just recently put in to go um, decrease my hours at the hospital where I work um, so that I could pursue this more long term and uh, to be able to create more content for you guys because I feel like I've been starving you guys for content. I really haven't been giving you enough. And I didn't move down to Florida to, to not do th this. I mean, I really want to create content for you guys. That is my dream to do that. And so I'm gonna be cutting back hours at the hospital. They're not gonna schedule me here in the future. And I'm only gonna pick up shifts at the hospital, um, which is my other job. I'm a vascular nurse. Um, I've been very, very busy <laughs> during 2020 um, for reasons I'm sure you know. Um, and I just felt like I wasn't able to give it my all to this, to both professions. I wasn't able to give it my all to nursing. And I wasn't able to give it all, my all to the YouTube channel. And you guys have supported me. You mo helped move me down here into this paradise. 
so I really feel like I was cheating you guys and you guys deserve better so I cut back hours at the hospital they're not gonna schedule me anymore um, I'm only gonna pick up shifts and as needed um, and that way I can better schedule and get videos out to you guys so um, let me see here if I can do some of the stuff without breaking the live feed I don't want to lose connection with you guys here but if I do just run back to the channel and let me know hey Joe Oceanside by the way Joe Oceanside I do want to collaborate with you um, I think that Kaya Costa trip or whatever sounds really interesting so um, definitely want to do something there um, by the way, any of you guys that are watching, I love collaborating with other YouTubers. I don't care how big, how small they are. I love collaborating with other YouTubers. So, um, yeah, if you have something interesting that you want to do, something that you think is of mutual interest to me, run it by me. Throw out an idea. I, I'm all for it. Um, so, I, I mean, heck, not that long ago, myself and some other YouTubers collaborated with a really big YouTuber. Um, and it was just because we wanted to have fun and do something of mutual interest. We collaborated with D Almighty. Um, he has like 10 million subscribers. I'm tiny, tiny, tiny compared to him on YouTube. Um, but we were able to collaborate with him because we had mutual interest. So other YouTubers, I mean, don't be intimidated by the subscriber counts. Um, we, we love, love collaborating with other YouTubers. So um, anyway, I'm gonna see here a second. I'm gonna try to minimize this. I don't know, I've never done it. I'm gonna see if I can minimize this and jump into something here. I might lose you. So check back if I lose the feed. Okay, we still on? Okay, it still says I'm live. I think it just cut you guys out for a while. Um, I need to get this laptop online so that that way I can look at the channel and see where we're at. We got some people working on a seawall here. I'm gonna turn around and go the other way. Let's see. Okay, never mind. Can't do that. Way too bright. <laughs> Just lost vid for a few seconds. Feed looks good now. Okay. I might lose feed one more time here. I'm gonna try to connect up the laptop up to the phone. Wow, this is brutal audio. <laughs> Hang in there. These guys right here are really, really loud. They're doing some concrete work on a seawall. I'm gonna try to speed away and get away from them. I love this Bixby motor. This thing's sweet. Okay, so right now I'm motorized. I got my laptop there and I need to connect up to uh, basically uh, get on to our analytics which shows the subscriber count if you guys are watching and you haven't subscribed quick subscribe and then that way we can get this giveaway going and actually I mean we're super super close I mean we are like I think three people away from hitting 50,000 subscribers <clears throat> but we got some pretty cool stuff that we're gonna be giving away um, Bixby is gonna be letting me give away one of their battery packs. This thing is submersible to like 100 feet. It's waterproof and it has multiple connections. You can power all your electronics on the water. You can take it camping. It's solar chargeable. You can actually get a, a third party. You can get their uh, their charger, um, which is sol a solar charger and you can plug it in and you can be totally off grid. So um, we're gonna be giving away one of these here and these things are awesome. If you don't think it's waterproof, watch. I'm not afraid to get this thing wet. So um, the other thing we're gonna be doing a giveaway on is we're gonna be giving away a 
tight line anchor. These things are one of the best anchors out on the market. I love them. And uh, yeah, we're gonna give away one of these. So definitely check it out. I got some people on a pontoon boat. <laughs> so, so far, we're gonna give away a big speed battery pack, a tight line anchor, and then I'm gonna be giving away some money too. Um, you know, I thought about giving away just Amazon gift cards, but you know, maybe you don't wanna buy something on Amazon. So I figured maybe I will just end up giving some people money. I think that that would just be the best. Then they can spend it at whatever place they want to to buy whatever kayaking and outdoor stuff they want. Hey, Mariah. So Mariah is my sister. She's uh, right now on, she's watching. My family's been incredibly supportive too. Um, my wife uh, is insanely supportive. Um, she, you know, was working full time. I was working part time as we tried to grow the YouTube channel. Um, she was even today alone. Um, she knew I had a long night. So she got our daughter up early and she got her off to daycare. And so my wife also um, has, has greatly helped in being supportive of the channel and what we're doing. So, yeah, I know, I, I didn't plan I didn't plan, you know, this uh, live thing very well or, or get enough people in, um, but it is what it is. So let me see here now if we can start getting some people on a giveaway. Okay, just got you three subscribers. Okay, hey, John Anderson, why don't you refresh and you tell me where we're at if we're at 50,000 subscribers. I'm gonna put you to work <laughs> and I'll send you 20 bucks uh, just for helping out. So. Oh, well, thank you, Paz Blitz. I appreciate the support. Okay, we're gonna give John Anderson a chance here first. John Anderson, uh, can you see if we hit 50,000 subscribers yet? Hit the refresh button and see if we hit it yet. Hey, we got another motorized guy. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so yours is staying 50K. Okay, I'm almost at it. I'm gonna quickly break the feed here. I'm gonna quick just see, it's gonna freeze the frame a second. So it's actually, yes, we hit 50. Okay, it just hit, okay, awesome. So we're gonna do a giveaway now. Um, what I want you guys to do though is, I wanna give you guys a chance in case you didn't also understand you have a chance here right now, you guys, if you haven't already, go to the Skiff Project Part 3 video. Open that up in another tab, whatever you have to do. Go to the Skiff Project Part 3 video and end up putting in a comment and make sure you're a subscriber, okay? Go there, put a comment on that video. That will enter you in as a chance to, to be on that, uh, on that giveaway. I'll give you guys just a few short moments here to do that. We're gonna end up, in about 30 seconds, we're gonna end up uh, drawing subscribers and commenters from that video, okay? So hang on. I wanted to get this computer going and connect it up to the phone, but I think it's just too much. In the area where I'm at right now, I'd have to hotspot from my phone, and I think my laptop is just not wanting to do that because I was trying to connect. I don't know why, where I'm at right now, it's just not wanting to do a connection. So we're gonna have to do this in a different way, I guess. What are you talking about, $600? I don't even know what you're talking about.
Okay, DJI. Yeah, I, I, um, I don't have Cash App, I have Venmo, I have PayPal, I have uh, several other different payments. I don't have Cash App actually set up yet. Um, but um, let's see. Oh, by the way too, like, so you're saying 600 a month. I'm not quite sure exactly what you're following on that, but yeah, it's not actually that accurate, but I mean, <laughs> I will say though, actually right now we actually, uh, yeah, social blade isn't really that accurate. Um, I, I could not live out here on six hundred dollars a month and i sure as heck could not be cutting back and um i couldn't I, I i could not work at the hospital yeah i know but dji i i literally put an email out to my boss at the hospital saying i'm, I'm cutting out uh being scheduled so like there's no way i could do that for six hundred dollars a month i'm not gonna tell you exactly how much i make but it's not i'm not rich but at the same time i actually uh I, I, I am able to pay a mortgage with with what I make and uh, it's, it's pretty decent so whatever you say it's okay I mean I I mean but I'm not able to live in this neighborhood at six hundred dollars a month from YouTube if that's the, I mean this is becoming my main job um, I just cut back on uh, working at the hospital and nursing. I'm no longer scheduled as a nurse here um, by the end of the month or so. So, but yeah, it's no one's business what you make. I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Whatever DJ I wants to do, he's still a subscriber. I'll still support him as well. Um, and, you know, it is a little bit fascinating. You know, like I can understand why they want to look into things like that. I can understand why DJI would want to look into that because the, the aspect is I'm still fascinated by YouTubers and the YouTubers up higher than me. I'm wondering what the heck they're making, um, you know, but really for the most part, like YouTube is like what YouTube pays us uh, channel is so small. Um, some YouTubers rely on Patreon where the subscribers help support the channel. You know, I haven't really wanted to get into that. I have an account, but I haven't pushed it. Um, just because it's just, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't seem right to ask my subscribers to pay. And yeah, Social Blade is not 100% accurate. I'm sorry, but whatever. You can keep trolling. It, it's just not. Like, it's never been accurate. Like, anyway. Um, so we hit 50,000 subscribers. I am going to do things, probably, I'm going to do things. Okay, I'm gonna do things two different ways here. Um, number one, I want you guys to pick a number one through 100. And the third person that comments with a number one through 100 is gonna be the number. Whoever the third person, one through 100. Okay. Sleepy Wolvie, eighty-nine dollars. Okay, so I am gonna give eighty-nine dollars <laughs> to as as a third giveaway option. It's gonna be a random thing. I'm just I'm gonna give eighty-nine dollars as a third giveaway option. Um, Add it on to the other one, <laughs> but I just felt like doing that. Uh, but just hang on here. So we're gonna I'm gonna jump out of this feed. I'm gonna end up trying to run a comment randomizer. So that, that way we can pick some people from the Skiff Project Part 3 video. Uh, we're going to pick two people. Uh, the first person that we pick from that video uh, is going to end up winning a Bixby Power Pack. This is the PP right here, the P Power Pack 166. It is waterproof. It is solar chargeable and it's pretty freaking awesome. I love it. Um, and then the next person will end up winning a tight line anchor. So right here is a tight line anchor. It's one of my favorite anchors out on the market. It is just built tough. This thing's corrosion resistant. You can use the zip tie method. As you can see up there, there's the holes. 
Um, it's an awesome anchor. It, it tips and grips like instantly and it holds you in place. So those are the first two giveaways that are gonna end up happening. So I'm gonna right now go over to the skiff project video and I'm gonna end up doing a con comment randomizer through the phone and we're gonna end up getting two winners from that video. And then I'm gonna do one more subscriber uh, giveaway, um, which is gonna be that $89. It's just a random thing, just for fun. And then on top of that, um, we are actually, every single month, Tightline Anchor that you see right here, Tightline Anchor has pledged to do a giveaway on our channel every month. So pretty amazing. I mean, I am absolutely shocked. And so, uh, yeah, every month, if you're a part of the channel, you're a subscriber, if you follow the videos, um, you know, you're gonna have to be commenting on the videos, then you will have a chance at winning the, the gear. So for those that are engaging in the channel, that support the channel, I'm gonna try to support you guys. And as the channel gets bigger, I'm gonna try to go bigger as well and definitely set money aside and whatnot to be able to give you more. So what happened to your views? Oh yeah, so just so you know, actually DJI, if you're looking through all the analytics and you're like a pro on my channel, you would actually know that every single season since 2013, my views drop at this time of the year every single year my my views on this channel drop in the winter season every single year why probably because maybe there's less people kayaking during the winters um, it's all based on where my demographics and viewers are so yeah i have less views also that uh fish cooking video was kind of outside the norm so maybe some viewers didn't like it and that's that's just a learning process of youtube yeah so like literally YouTube you you learn your audience and you learn your seasons that you have a viewership and in certain genres sometimes you end up losing viewership now if you're a vlogger like David Dobrik and some of those others you know it's less seasonal trends but if you're tied to a sport that has a seasonal trend you are gonna end up having that but I'm done kind of wasting time on that so yeah Okay, let's go to the giveaway because everyone else would like to deal with that except DJ. Okay, so I just ended up running the randomizer twice. We have Michael Goodhue and we end up having Jacob Fish. Those are the two people that ended up winning. Michael Goodhue came in first, so he ended up winning right here, the battery pack which Bixby will end up, it'll get sent directly. You're not gonna get my used one, don't worry. Um, and then uh, Jacob Fish ended up winning a tight line anchor. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I just got rid of DJI from the, the chat session because he's just monopolizing the chat session and just kind of trolling. So, I mean, there's no need for him to be there. So, um, yeah, we're only gonna have people that support the channel. We really don't need people that are just gonna troll and waste your guys' time and my time. So DJI is out of the group. <laughs> we don't need to have him around. Anyway, um, so, I hope you guys, um, you know, I, I hope you guys can see that I, I want to support you guys as much as you support me, but I don't even think that's physically possible. What you guys have done for me and my family is, is something that words can't describe. Um, you guys allowing or taking interest in what I'm doing, supporting me and, and being able to do what I love is, is it's something I, <laughs> I I am forever grateful for you guys doing um, I I just never ever would have thought that my life would look this way um, 
<laughs> I, I am very, very appreciative of, of you guys. Um, so I will be doing um, more giveaways here. I'm going to be releasing a video on the Feel Free Mokin, um, the Mokin 10 V2. Um, and in that video, I will end up going over why I think it's one of the best buys out on the market. Um, I actually just recently bought two and, uh, okay, seriously, like what the heck this DJI guy is persistent. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I, I'm really grateful for what you guys, um, have done for me and I'm going to do more giveaways. Absolutely. Uh, 100% going to be doing more giveaways and, uh, we're, we're going to have some cool stuff coming out on the channel. Definitely. So, uh, I, I, if you guys ever visit Southwest Florida, if you're in the Cape Coral area, contact me. I just had, um, this guy named Brandon. He watches the videos. He contacted me. I run a rental business for kayaks too. I'm hooking them actually up with this kayak, which is not a typical rental kayak. I'm just, I'm, I'm hooking them up with it. Um, just because he watches the channel. Um, and I, I want to do every little thing I can to give back to you guys um, because I literally wouldn't have any of this. I would have nothing. None of this is mine. This is just on loan basically in, a, in an extent. Like in my mind, I don't deserve all this. Like this, this kayak, this motor, all this stuff is because you guys helped get it for me. Not because I got it for myself. Like so you guys are creating the opportunities for me to be able to share cool stories with you, share cool products with you. Um, and so of course, absolutely. I am going to be doing giveaways and I, I, I think this next year is where I want to scale that up more. Um, I already have the one company, as I mentioned, um, tight line anchor, they want to get behind doing giveaways. So tight line anchor right here, one of the coolest anchors, it's corrosion resistant. It's mill spec, like really high grade stuff. Um, they want to get behind giving away products to subscribers on the channel. Um, Bixby's always been supportive. Um, you know, the Bixby's the company that makes this motor right here. And I have it in the pedal drive well, because this is actually a pedal drive kayak and I have the pedal drive out on the back, but Bixby has been super supportive of the channel. Um, one of the largest supporters I've had in, throughout the whole history. Um, and so I will absolutely um, be using everything in my power in my own bank account to be able to give to you guys. And I'm going to also be working with companies to try to get you guys cool products to, for giveaways and uh, hopefully even create some adventures for you guys if you guys ever are in Florida. Um, Oh, well, pretty cool. Thanks, John. Yeah, they're, they're an awesome anchor. I had their K4X initially. Um, it was a smaller one, um, which I used for everything. I used it for kayaks. I even used it for scuba diving in current. I actually used it to anchor myself so I could uh, not have to work so hard in current when I'm doing fossil hunting because I'll take the kayaks out and I'll have my dive system on and I'll drop in the water, but there's heavy current. I'll actually use the anchor uh, help hold me in the current underwater. Oh yeah. Yeah. On the inflatable paddleboard, that Bixby with the inflatable paddleboard was one of the most fun setups ever. Seriously, this DJI phantom guy, like who is he? Like, <laughs> So where am I at? I'm in Cape Coral, um, Florida. It's Southwest Florida. It's on the Gulf. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty awesome little area. Uh, kind of like a little diamond in the rough. So, I mean, when my wife and I moved down here about five years ago, I never ever would have thought that we'd be um, able to even afford a house like this. But how, how we bought a 1960s home on the water here and it really wasn't that expensive, honestly. It wasn't. It was about the same price as what we were going to spend for a house in South Dakota, um, in the in the city area. So, 
yeah, uh, Matt Lachey. Hey, I just saw something about Matt Lachey. So yes, I also am very close to Matt Lachey and I actually deliver kayaks out to there quite frequently. Plus my in-laws live in Matt Lachey. And I actually just filmed uh, some video content with Hobie in Matt Lachey as well. So here's how I steer the pedal kayak right there. It's very simple, but this kayak right now is being powered by a motor. So I pop the pedal drive out. The pedal drive is actually sitting right there. And then I steer it with a motor. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool setup and it's kind of what I needed to have to be able to have my hands free to talk to you guys. Um, because otherwise it would kind of be a little bit more difficult. This way I'm able to just kind of buzz down the canal and and be able to have my hands free. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, this is quite the adventure. And so um, I'm gonna, when I end up getting off of this video chat, um, this video will go up onto YouTube. And then what I'm gonna do is in the video description of this video, in the video description of this live video, when it uploads to YouTube, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up doing another drawing, a giveaway of all of the subscribers on the channel. And then I'm gonna end up uh, basically uh, giving away um, some money. Um, so for sure doing the $89 one, just cause it was fun. I, I wanted you guys to just pick a number. I'm glad you picked a higher number. Um, I was really hoping it wasn't gonna be like $1 or something. Cause I just felt like that would have been <laughs> really dumb to send to someone, but um yeah so someone's gonna get 89 dollars, and then i might do another one of like a hundred dollars or something to another subscriber uh, but i'll put all those details into the video description um, of the video um, that you're watching right now and so um, once this video uploads and it's no longer live then you guys can check that out and uh you can see who else won some some money and gear or whatever i don't know um, but we're gonna get some <laughs> the mustache Dude, so when I work at the hospital, I can't really have much of a mustache. You know, like I have to shave it because I have to wear a mask and it doesn't fit tight otherwise. Um, so with this whole dang COVID situation, um, I haven't been able to really grow much of any facial hair. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, by the way, this Bixby, the, the motor right now is not on full speed. I'm not going at full speed. I think I'm on like speed three. Um, and this thing has up to 12 speeds. So um, I will quickly go up to the highest speed. So there you can see kind of a wake. And you can kind of see us moving. So when I first got Bixby, I had the first generation Bixby and that thing had 10 speeds, but then they ended up adding two more speeds because they wanted to have a, uh, a trolling type uh, speed for freshwater fishermen. So now I'm back in a lower speed. I'm just gonna keep it in low speed and just kind of putts around here. Um, but yeah, when the Bixby first came out, they only had 10 speeds and then they ended up adding two more speeds so that that way they could accommodate for uh, freshwater anglers who wanted to troll at lower speeds. Um, for saltwater anglers, trolling at higher speeds actually, it works because we got um, some fish that definitely can keep up. Um, so um, yeah, it, I right now have the 12 speed second generation Bixby. It's sitting right under the laptop right there. So. This is my office. <laughs> this is where all the editing magic happens. <laughs> Actually, my next purchase. Okay, so I wanna be real with you guys. And so I wanna put things into perspective. So if any of you guys are having dreams of doing YouTube that you don't shut down those dreams. Okay, number one. Okay, so number one, uh, I started the YouTube channel in 2013. That's when I also bought this MacBook. This MacBook has edited every single video 
um, for the channel. Um, we got like 260, I don't know how many videos we have. We got a lot. Um, but that, that, you, that whole entire YouTube channel has been done from this laptop. And so just recently I am looking at having to now upgrade to a different laptop or uh, possibly a, a desktop um, setup. But if any of you guys are thinking about doing YouTube, I'll tell you what I use. So most of the time, I actually film a lot of clips from my phone because the best camera that you can ever have is the one that you always have on you to be able to catch those moments at the right time. So a lot of times that's my phone. And then the other aspect, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> laptop fisherman. Um, the other aspect of um, YouTube that I found like th that works for me. So I use my phone, but then I also use a GoPro. And I'm not one of those guys that has like 50 GoPros because I don't like managing all those different cards. It gets very confusing and it makes it very hard to um, edit down the line because I don't have an editor. It's just me and I'm having to work three jobs. Um, so I am, I'm definitely busy. So I am basically trying to simplify the filming process. So I do a lot from my phone and when I end up uh, using the laptop, what I do is I take the video clips from my phone and I airdrop them to my laptop. And then from there, I can end up putting them into uh, editing software like iMovie and I can put them in order of what I want. Pull, <laughs> yeah. You know what though? These fish in the canal are like the pickiest fish ever. So I don't have great luck trolling in the canals or doing anything like that. Um, I do have some luck targeting certain fish in the canals, but the canal fish here, I don't know. They are very picky fish. And, you know, I mean, for the most part, it's sheep's head and like some mangrove snapper um, and occasional snook um, you can get. Um, but right now in our canal system too, um, and in this area, so many of the fish are out of season um, due to water quality issues um, that killed fish off like a year ago and it dropped the population of fish. So then they closed a bunch of the seasons, but um, yeah, normally I have a fishing pole on me. Um, anyway, uh, what would you guys like to see for 2021? What type of video content would you like to see? Um, just. I don't know, throw some things out there. If I think it's possible, if it's, if it's something like I can do, uh, I'll definitely try to do it. I definitely want to do more rigging stuff. Um, maybe some wacky fun stuff, like maybe some fishing challenges or maybe some like survival challenges. Maybe go and have to like kayak out to an island and survive on the island for a couple days. I, I don't know, with like no food packed. Um, that to me would be a lot of fun. Um, I don't know, I'm just tossing out ideas but let me know if there's certain ideas that you guys think of. <clears throat> Catching cooks. Okay, yeah, that'd be good. Kaya Costa trip also would be good, so can maybe hook up with Joe Oceanside on the Kaya Costa trip. He definitely uh, had offered that skydiving. <laughs> oh man, come on, Blake. <laughs> I'd like to live to 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> uh, Kaya Costa trip, that, that one sounds good. Catching Cooks, um, HHK, I can't see what yours is. It's just like a ring. Uh, are you awake? It says you're in. Do you live in the area or you live in Malache? Is that what you were trying to tell me earlier? Are you awake? YouTuber, where are you from? Because could I make it all the way to Northeast Cape with that? Mm. I think it depends on I don't know, maybe, and maybe lower speeds. I, I don't know. I, I possibly with a full charge and depending on the route I took, 
<laughs> so Bixby doesn't give me discount codes, but they do let me know when they're gonna have like uh, deals. Um, but they don't do deals very often. They, I mean, their their prices in terms of the competition and what they offer, they they kind of consider themselves already at the lower end of the spectrum because like torpedoes are way more expensive, um, and the scuba jet is way more expensive. Um, so they don't do a lot of discounts. Uh, Bixby doesn't. Um, it's usually only like maybe once a year, sometimes around Black Friday, and that's about it. Um, so, but they do give me a, 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 a link. And then I, if someone purchases from our link, then I, I'll earn a little bit of commission to be able to support the channel. Um, and I don't know, I, I can use some of that money maybe to, to do giveaways. That's about, that's about the only way I can help give back. Um, but they don't do discounts really much. I'm trying to see see the comments as they come. Oh, okay. You want me to go pick on LEX? <laughs> uh. Okay, are you awake? You live in the Cape right off Malachay. Okay, cool. Well, we'll definitely have to meet up then. I mean, I'm totally for it. We should meet up. You're probably pretty close to Serena Vista Park and that whole area. <laughs> David, hello, hello from Nebraska where our ponds are frozen. Dude, I feel the pain. <laughs> that, that is tough. That's the problem. When I end up growing the YouTube channel and I hit like almost 5,000 subscribers, I was like, hey, I kind of want to do this for a living. I like, th th I'm on to something like this. This could be a job eventually. And so I was in like Iowa and we had long winters and I was like, I can't do this here. So my wife and I, we talked and we had to move to Florida. So David, it's totally solvable. You just have to move to Florida. You know, and I'll help you find a house. I'll find you a really good deal on a house. I bet I could surprise you with the houses that I could find on the water. I bet I could get you a Gulf access, like ocean access home for well under 200K. Yeah, I could find you a deal. Probably around 175K, I could probably find you a ocean access home. peacock bass fishing video would be cool yeah so i actually want to do peacock bass fishing actually out of naples area possibly um real and ralph i wonder are you one of them that does the charters out by naples because i know there's like at least two people that do kayak fishing charters out by naples for peacock bass oh in case you're wondering how much how much i trust the stability of this kayak. That's right, I got my laptop on here and I'm standing. That's how much I trust this kayak. So this is a lightning kayak, the lightning strike. I'm motoring totally irresponsible and I have my laptop there. And I can't really afford another one right now. <laughs> so I just figured I'd show you that. Um, so let me see the comments here a second. This is fun. I, I love doing this. I might not get crazy views. Oh, dude, no, not 200K on the ocean. Like under 200K I can get you. And it will be ocean access home. Like you will be able to take a boat from your backyard into the ocean for under 200K. I actually just found one for 175K. So yeah, I can definitely help people find people homes. <laughs> like I, I know deals. So, like people think that, you know, 
I have tons and tons of money and that, you know, I bought a home in this paradise area and that, you know, I, they just think I'm some rich YouTuber and they can't connect with me. Dude, I bet you guys have more money in your bank account probably than I do. Um, I have dumped and poured a lot of money into my businesses. I actually have very little in my bank account right now. I'm at a point where I actually am trying to in reinvest into different things. So I, I bought my home for a lot less than what people think. And I'm just willing to tell you guys that honestly, like what I'm, the life I'm living right now, I'm pretty sure many of you guys could live it if you made the choice. Um, you guys could easily afford um, a place on the water. Maybe not, you know, that home, maybe not, you know, some of these homes, you know, because certain ones are higher priced than others, but you can have a home on the water with ocean access and it's not as much as you think. Um, so if you guys want proof, you know, drop me a message over at Kayak DIY on Facebook and uh, I'll definitely, I'll help you. I could, I could find you a, a place on the water. I'm not a realtor, so I wouldn't get any commission. I don't even, I don't even care about that. I would just do it to help you guys out. In fact, I helped my friend find a second home. <laughs> Rich health. Tampa area. In Tampa, it might be a little bit harder. Tampa is going to be harder. So certain areas have it would be more difficult, but I could get you close to an airport um, that would have really cheap flights to the Midwest. So I could get you a home on the water for around 175 K that would have really, really cheap flights. Oh, okay. Well, uh, real and Ralph, why don't you message me through like, um, through our website or something and then uh, who knows maybe we can connect up and uh, do some fishing down there I know one other guy that does uh, peacock bass fishing down there and I definitely have wanted to do it um, I'm, I'm kind of planning out the, the videos for this upcoming year and what I'm gonna do I wish that the comments would stay up on the screen. It is so irritating that I can't keep the comments up on the screen. Like I have to constantly tap the the comments thing to see the them. Yeah, are you awake? Definitely we can meet up and I can help find you a house. We can even go look at them together, I don't care. I love house shopping. <laughs> There's a house. <laughs> you want that house? <laughs> I want that house. <laughs> Some of the boats on this canal system cost way more than my house. <laughs> like, they're outrageous. Can I get you that house for 175k? If I could get that house for 175k, whoo, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's a gorgeous day. So right now we're in our winter season where the temperatures are much cooler. Um, and what we do find though is during this season, most of the time we do uh, sailing. So sailing is a big thing around this time of the year because you have consistent wind. Hey, my wife Katie's commenting. She says, what do you want for dinner? My order of a pizza. Only way to get a hold of you was to comment on the live video. P.S. Very proud of you hitting 50K. See, that's my wife. She's, my wife is amazing. I would literally be nowhere without her. Oh, man. Well, Blake. Okay, I'm pretty sure, Blake, you have my cell phone number. So, I mean... We just need to hang out. <laughs> we maybe do some fossil hunting or, or kayaking or something. We, we got to come up with some plan. 
to, to meet up and hang out, um, especially coming up here soon. I mean, because by the end of the year or so, the hospital is not going to be scheduling me really much, um, if at all. Um, I'm trying to slowly phase out of the hospital and not be scheduled. Um, they are, um, yeah, uh, it, so I'm going to be trying to create more and more content. He <laughs> wish you had a job to watch. To... I would, I would love to just pay you to watch my videos. <laughs> uh, no, this is this is fun though. I I love love connecting with you guys. That's the one thing that when I make a video and I just post it up on on YouTube, I I don't get that same feeling. I love live video. I wish, I wish I could make a career out of just going live with you guys. Like that would be, that'd be really cool. Um, I might just have to schedule live, you know, in, in this next year, I might just have to make a plan to like schedule live at a consistent time, every single like week or two, um, just to be able to have these times to where you guys know you can connect with me and then we can chat. You guys can ask me questions about new kayaks hitting the market, new gear, diving, anything, anything water related. If it's related to the water, we can chat about it because um, this is what I love. And so if we can, I don't know, if, if, if it, it, this next year, if I can maybe schedule live broadcasts with you guys where we just chat and have things like this, that to me would be a blast. I would love it um, because I, I enjoy doing this stuff. Oh, you just bought a feel free Mokin? Did you get the 10 or the 12? Seriously, like what the hell is wrong with people? Like. <laughs> They're trying to like broadcast my address. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, see me soon. Whoop de doo. Like, there's so many trolls getting on this live broadcast. It's actually really, really annoying. But, um, so you brought, I didn't get to see that there because I had this person called I Am in the Dark. They were trying to uh, take over the feed again. Yeah, we're, we're going to be getting some pizza soon. Katie, my wife, is picking it up. So you got the 12 and a half. Okay. Hey, you know what? We can collaborate. Maybe we can try to put the Bixby on your 12 and a half. I can contact Bixby and get the, the motor pod attachment, and we can play around with that. Throw me a wrench and I'll help. <laughs> yeah, isn't John, like... John, this, it's, it is, it is messed up. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this person that keeps jumping on our live feed from different accounts, but he's like trying to give addresses of all like people. Like it's, it's really disturbing. Like he's trying to, what, what, what he wants people to come to my house and like to hurt my family. Like why, what have I done to anyone? Like I've done nothing but nice things to people. And seriously, that would be a very foolish move because actually, at one point, I worked for a gun company. So that would be a very, very dumb move on their part to come and try to hurt my family. So, yeah, I hate people that, you know, are, are just jumping on YouTube accounts to try to troll and and do that stuff. But, yeah, my address, whoop de doo okay? People know where my address is. I'm not, I'm not trying to hide. I feel like I'm a pretty good person. I don't know why anyone would want to do me or my family harm, but um, okay. I mean, I just created a, a entire live feed about doing giveaways to my subscribers and, and someone wants to do that, that's pretty rotten. But anyway, um, yeah, we're just buzzing, heading back towards the house. Um, it's still a decent distance at the moment. We have to go into this canal. It's cool, the canals have street names. 
So like, this is like a little mini Venice. So this is Cape Coral, Florida. And if you look on the map at Cape Coral, Florida, it's, it's so cool. Like I never ever would have thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever be able to even afford a house out in here. But I mean, we got this house for like dirt cheap, but it was gross inside. Like it was really gross. This house was now I said, I could find someone a house for 175 on the water, similar to this. And that house is actually in much better shape than our house was when we got it. Um, so yeah. 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 He, he, I literally have had to ban this person from our live feed, from this same live feed. I had to ban that person four times. He jumps onto different accounts. He started off as DJI. And then he started off as some other person, like DJI Productions. And then he's like something else. And he keeps jumping on and he's just trying to like, I don't know, upset me somehow. It's not, it's not upsetting me. Um, but he keeps trying to. And the last time he just tried to say my address. Said, and he said, I'll see you soon. Like, really? No, no, not happening. Like, granted, I would love to connect with my subscribers. If my subscribers contact me and say, hey, you, I want to meet up, I want to go out for kayaking, sure, you can meet me at my dang house. I don't care. But when you try to threaten me like that, not cool. Like, that was clearly supposed to be a threat. And that's that's not cool. Um, so, yeah, it would be a very foolish move on his part to ever come to my house um, with any ill intent. Um, that'd be a very, very bad idea. <laughs> um, Anyway, um, Blake, we need to meet up. Let's take the feel free Mokin 12.5. I'll have the 10 foot version. We can do like a comparison video maybe together or something. I don't know, but maybe we can put the Bixby in yours because yours has the removable pod and we can see how that thing works. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll just hang out. That'd be fun. But I absolutely will say, I'll say it right now, little spoiler alert. I think that the Feel Free Mokin series is probably one of the best value kayaks out on the market right now for someone that is looking to get into kayaking. Absolutely love, love the Feel Free Mokin. I love it enough that I just bought two of them and I bought them for our rental business. And then I took it out before any of the renters did. And I used it through Central Florida. I was paddling some uh, rivers and creeks. I had my dive gear on and we were finding prehistoric fossils like mammoth and different things. Um, Cause that's one of my other hobbies is I like to do scuba diving with my buddy who runs a YouTube channel. His channel is called I hunt dead things. And we like to do fossil hunting. Um, we will go and scuba dive like in rivers and we will sift along the bottom and feel and we'll end up finding mammoth. Like it's, it's so mind blowing to me. It's so cool. Let's see, I'm trying to see what the comments were. Oh yeah, hey, Blake. Okay, I have an idea for that. So you and I need to link up. I might have some of the parts to help put a trolling motor in your kayak. Yeah, we need to definitely meet up. So, okay. So here is a perfect example. So I am on YouTube right now talking to you guys. And right now I already am possibly collaborating with a subscriber. He has a kayak, he wants a trolling motor on it and I wanna create content with, for you guys. So I am probably gonna try to help Blake out with rigging up his kayak with a trolling motor because I already have a lot of the parts and then I can tell you how to do it. And that's a pretty popular kayak so people are probably gonna wanna know. And then I can also maybe do a comparison of like a trolling motor setup with maybe like a Bixby. And so people can see both different uh, aspects of it. You know, the one aspect is if you use a trolling motor, you're gonna probably need a heavier battery, unless you're gonna spend the big bucks to get a lithium battery or like a lighter weight lithium based battery. Um, but this is lithium battery. And the cool thing about this is, let me show you. I'm gonna put my laptop away here because we don't need that out. Check this out. I'm gonna pop the kill switch so we're not moving. 
this battery, it floats. The Bixby battery floats. Ugh. And here is the specs of the battery. So this is lithium ion, 25.2 volt, 13,200 milliamp hours, 333 watt hours. That's the battery. But that's what I love about this, uh, this motor is the Bixby battery floats. So you can build your own trolling motor setup and there's nothing wrong with, with doing that. In fact, it's a very cost-effective way to motorize your kayak. I mean, with pod-based kayaks that have a pod in here for like your sonar and stuff, a lot of them you can fit a motor. In fact, I have shown how to do that in other videos. Um, but if you wanna spend extra money and you want a little bit cleaner setup, then you can go with the big speed. I'm not gonna tell you which one to buy because I've never wanted to do that on the channel. I've never ever wanted to push you guys and tell you what to buy. I just wanted to show you what it can do. Water snake trolling motor. Is it that like the ASP T24, ASP uh, 18, like the 18 pound thrust or the 24? Which one is it? Hey, killer fuzz. And Joe Oceanside, um, I just tried answering it. It's lithium ion. And it's completely sealed. It's completely waterproof. All the connections are waterproof and it floats. And Peter Wilson, um, I appreciate that comment. Definitely, um, it does suck that people would wanna do that um, on this video. And Joe Oceanside, I had missed this earlier, but you bought the Intex Excursion 5 inflatable boat. It was $220 on Amazon. You thought it was going to be a junk, but it turned out to be really handy. Huh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, what I'm thinking is I want to do a comparison video between Blake Hurst, Mokin 12.5 and my um, Mokin 10. And then what we'll do is we'll also end up uh, rigging up his kayak with the trolling motor um, that he has, um, which I've used before. So I'm very familiar with it. And I actually already have the parts to make his life a lot easier um, for the rigging process. So, for, so Blake, you need to call me after this video. So when this video is done, give me a call and I'm gonna make your life so much easier in terms of rigging up that, uh, that trolling motor. Um, so it is, you were asking how many amp hour, um, you were asking how many amp hour that battery is. It is 13,200 milliamp hours. So you'd have to do a conversion of that, but I'm trying to dry off this connector cause it, the lightning connector got wet. That's the only weak point. Let's see. Yeah, you can call me probably around eight. That'll be fine. I'm uh, just heading back to the canal. This house right here has uh, underwater fish lights, which are awesome. Eventually this year, I wanna get some for my dock because they're, 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 they're amazing. I will come out of my canal system and I paddle up there and there are so many fish sitting by the green dock lights. Um, you'll see like massive tarpon just sitting there. They're like, they don't move, they're like logs. They just sit there and then all of a sudden a bait fish comes by and they go boom and grab it. So um, yeah, I definitely, yeah, snook lights, snook love the lights. Oh yeah, my brother and I, we caught snook at night with the kayaks. Um, we'll have like little headlamps on. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, eventually sometime I wanna get those lights for the dock, but I don't have power out to my dock yet. So I've been slowly kind of fixing up the house as I go, um, trying to put most of the money in the, the channel and in kind of making kayaking my career. Um, so basically within the next month here or so, for the most part, kayaking is gonna be my career. I'm not gonna have 
really the extra income of my healthcare job. Um, so my healthcare job, I'm, I'm kind of phasing out of, and I'm no longer going to be scheduled. Um, so I'm going to be just doing kayaking for a career. I'm going to be running the rental business for kayaking, and then I'm going to be making YouTube videos. And that was a decision my wife and I made so that we could um, really pursue this um, and, and create more content for you guys and really give this a chance. Um, so right now we're approaching my area where I live and my canal system. This is a pretty cool boat. So this boat right here, the guy actually says it's for sale, but that would be a super fun boat to rebuild. <laughs> that thing would be a blast. It would also be a big headache. I'm not so sure that I have the skills to work on some of that, like some of the mechanical aspects of it might be tricky. But uh, that boat right there, the owner told me he wants to sell it at some point, and that would be a blast. Um, but I'm more of a, you know, if I could get a good diesel, um, one that has a really good diesel, um, but is maybe rough cosmetically, that would be a better project for me. Because right now I don't have the, the knowledge to work on, um, on some of the engines. Like I can do certain engine rebuilds, but it, I, that's not my strong point yet. I plan before I start getting into my dream of, of being on the water and cruising and going long distances, I do need to brush up on that and learn that. Um, my brother, he, I swear my brother, he was born and he just like knew how to do all of it. Like right from the womb, like he was born and the, the kid could put together like a V8 freaking engine or something like, it's just ridiculous. But Hey, awesome. Well then we'll have to collaborate. Real and Ralph, we're gonna have to collaborate. I'll teach you everything I know and it'll be great. It'll be fun. You got a great boat mechanic in Cape. Oh, cool. Yeah, so, you know, if I end up taking on like a bigger boat project, um, th that that might be something to, to think about. The skiff project was a lot of fun. It didn't really get tons of views, and I don't know if that's just because maybe it could have been some of the editing I did, and maybe some people didn't like it, um, or it could have been outside the genre of kayaking, so maybe some people are like, oh, it's a boat, don't want anything to do with it. But it was always something I wanted to do, and I wanted to challenge myself and I wanted to show that people can do things like this. Um, so basically this whole channel has been really, um, it's been personal growth, even for me, like learning new skills, um, challenging myself. And as I learned some of these new things, I, I inherently want to share them with you guys. So um, like that skiff project basically was me just wanting to share something with you that was kind of a bucket list item. And so I made the, the three part video showing kind of the progress. I didn't want to put it into one video because I thought that would be really long. Um, but if you guys would want me to do that in the future, I guess I could. It's all about what you guys want. It's not necessarily about anything else to me. Um, oh, Trip Smith. Yeah, he got a new skiff. I don't remember what brand he got. Was it a Sabine skiff or was it uh, or like date skiff i don't remember what he got but i, I did see trip smith got a, a new skiff um and he seems to use the heck out of it too <clears throat> so we're actually coming up on my house you'll be able to see the skiff hanging up on the on the davits so when we moved to our house we didn't actually have um davits on our seawall we had no way of having a boat um we could like you know, have a boat in the water tied up to the seawall, but that's not very secure. Um, so what I did is I saw that we had these big blocks sitting on the seawall and I asked around, I asked a few people and I said, what are these for? And they said, oh, those are for davits. That's something they did, you know, years back. In fact, right there, you can see a davit. Right there is davit. You see the big block on the seawall? So all we had was the blocks on our seawall. Then I jumped on Facebook Marketplace and a guy said, hey, you can have these free davits, but you have to take them off our seawall. Me, being totally naive, I'm like, sure, I'll take them. I get to his house, I go, oh crap. I'm like, I, these are very heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna move these. So I call up my buddy, and my buddy Ricky, he 
is awesome. My buddy Ricky, he ended up hooking me up. He brought an engine block crane and a big trailer, and we ended up using an engine block crane to lift the davits off of this person's seawall. We got him on the trailer, about breaking our backs, and then we ended up wheeling him into the backyard of my house, and we dropped him onto my seawall. Um, but we got free davits, and I ended up repowering them because I didn't have electricity out to the dock. Um, so um, I ended up putting big 2,500 pound brake winches on them and I can lift that boat up and down with these brake winches with like little effort, like no effort at all. And so it works out pretty slick. So we're coming up to my house here. Oh, there's a nice doggy. So right here is the house. You can see we got some of the kayaks out here. That's the new Feel Free Mokin. There's one of the Feel Free Nomads. Um, we got my daughter's little cottage thing that she plays with. We got some more kayaks. So we have rental kayaks and then, um, yeah, we have some personal kayaks. I got some kayaks in my garage too. But right here is the, the skiff that we built. And we'll buzz alongside there and take a look at it. Well, Real and Ralph, you can contact me through the uh, through the dot com kayakdiy.com. If you contact me through there, I'll uh, I'll set you up with the info. So, I love this time of the day um, being out on the water because like the water's like glass and like the the palm trees reflect in there. So right now I'm just turning around here and we'll we'll pull into the kayak launch. So right there, I got a kayak launch. I made a few videos on that. It's been pretty handy. <clears throat> so let's see here. Just kind of coasting in. You'll actually notice that I put C deck material on my uh, laptop. <laughs> okay, so we are back at the house on the kayak launch. And yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this live feed. Um, you know, it's just very chill, relaxed uh, time. I just want to spend a little bit of time with my viewers, chat with you guys, do the drawing, determine who the winners were for um, the Skiff Project Part 3 video. So that Skiff Project Part 3 video is when we first announced that we were going to be doing a 50,000 subscriber giveaway. And so I obviously wanted to draw um, those winners and then um, yeah after this live feed I'm gonna end up jumping into our subscriber list and I'm gonna draw two more subscribers to win something um, so it's gonna be some cash um, particularly one person in this live feed I asked uh, you know I said choose a number one between between one and a hundred and I said we were gonna pick the third person that commented and they said 89 so one person's gonna win 89 dollars, and the other person will end up winning some other um cash prize of some sort i haven't decided what it's gonna be but i'll end up uh putting that in the video description below um until then um you can expect some uh some videos here um, coming up pretty soon uh probably gonna partner with blake um who was commenting in these videos um, there is my Feel Free Mokin. I actually have another one in blue um, that I purchased. They were not given to me. I purchased them at full price. Um, and we're going to do a comparison uh, between his kayak, which is the 12.5 V2 Mokin, and the 10-foot version, which I think are a really exceptional value. 
and feel free has not paid me for any of this um, I'm not getting sponsorship money or anything but we're gonna do some video content on those kayaks and then I have a brand new Viking uh, pro fish reload sitting in the garage that we're gonna rig up with a uh, sail uh, because it's sailing season right now here in Florida during this time of the year it is the perfect time to do sailing and I love sailing so much um, that it inspired us to actually name our daughter sailor um, so our daughter's name is, is sailor and I, I enjoy it it's something that I've always dreamt of doing and when I lived in Iowa um, there really just wasn't any spot to learn how to sail um, so I am actually uh, gonna be uh, taking a Viking kayak and I'm gonna end up putting a Pacific action sail from Australia on it which is super cool and I think the combo is gonna make for awesome fishing setup um, down here in the Gulf uh, in terms of Viking dealers um, I think there's one in Texas um, there's uh, uh, let's see West Marine for a while was selling Viking you can find them possibly on their website where the dealer locations are um, but uh, I'm not sure that all that is, is potentially changing. I mean, right now to find certain kayaks anyway, period, is getting to be a little bit of a challenge because when COVID hit, the manufacturing decreased. And so it got a little bit hard to find um, kayaks at local dealers. Um, so their inventory was just low. They were trying to get kayaks for customers and they were struggling. Um, for example, um, I wanna do one shout out here um, and you guys are probably done hearing this, but, and, and all personal opinions aside. So the COVID pandemic, um, I was, you know, a nurse during that time. I was working, my wife was working. Um, I wanna say thank you to Burley Pro, which makes kayak accessories and to Lightning Kayak, which makes this kayak I'm on because uh, them and Mariner Sales they all pitched in, Mariner Sales, Burley Pro, Lightning Kayak, they all pitched in to produce face shields for us healthcare workers. They shipped me tons of face shields so I could actually help support my, uh, my hospital. And it gave us a lot of hope um, when we were feeling very down and, and overwhelmed because of the patient loads. And so I'll, I'll leave it at that. I know there's, there's strong feelings about this COVID situation, especially now people are scared about the vaccine all that stuff. But I wanted to say thank you to those companies who helped um, give some support and a little bit of hope to us um, in the nursing profession um, and in healthcare in general. Um, CNAs, doctors, all of them. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for, to these kayak companies that, that chose to put their business operations on pause to try to make some of the products to help us out. A Diaz. Yeah, I, I know. And it, it's been it's been rough. Like a lot of the, the dealers, I've been messaging them too to find out when they're getting product in, and it's tough. Um, the biggest thing is, I mean, you get one employee with COVID, it can it can really screw up your your business. I mean, because you can get a whole bunch of people that are are exposed, and as a business, you have to have them stay home. Um, because there is risk factors. Granted, a lot of people survive and do well, but it's really screwed up a lot of manufacturing and it's made it hard for these businesses to, to operate. It, it really has. And yeah, all, all opinions aside on COVID, um, I'm not here to get into arguments with anyone. Um, obviously, I come from the healthcare background and, and I've seen kind of some of the gruesome realities of it, but... Um, yeah, it, it, it was rough. It was quite rough for a while. We got to get a little bit of light on here. These are loom cubes, which are very useful. So, you had it three weeks ago? Yeah, my wife had it as well. Um, so, Katie, um, who jumped on the feed a little bit earlier, she had COVID. And so my wife, I, and uh, Sailor all had to stay home for like over two weeks. 
Um, I was helping film with a kayak company and I actually found out on the water that I was exposed and that two of my close family members that had been in my house, they had it. So I ended up actually immediately while I was on the water, I called up um, our local hospital, said, hey, I had an exposure. Um, what should I do? Should I get tested or not? They chose not to test me because I didn't have any symptoms, but they did say I needed to, to get myself away from other people. Um, and yeah, I mean, I had my wife got it, mother-in-law got it. They were in our house together. I was a high risk factor, so I ended up leaving the water and I, uh, I picked up my daughter from daycare and went home and spent two weeks at home. We had groceries ordered in. Uh, it was, it, you know, you make the best out of it. We, we tried to have fun with it and make, make the best out of it. And I totally understand. I mean, who knows who I could affect? I could affect someone's grandpa, grandma, you know, some, someone that maybe wouldn't fare too well with it. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, and not everyone's going to agree with the, the quarantining and, you know, but, um, that's, that's just my opinion. I, we stayed home, but Blake, I, I hope you're doing well. I, I know a lot of people have like a hangover effect from, from the COVID. Um, my dad was experiencing that he was feeling very like run down. Um, he, he lives in Iowa and he just felt really run down from it. So yeah. Hey James, have a good night. Anyway, um, I suppose I'm going to let you guys go. Um, but rest assured, going to be a lot more stuff coming from Kayak DIY for this upcoming year. Um, we're going to be doing things with um, some of the companies I showed. Um, so, you know, Bixby, um, this is one of the giveaway items that someone won here tonight. And then Tightline Anchor uh, right here. Yep, they're going to be actually sponsoring uh, videos. Um, they're going to be doing a giveaway. Uh, they want to do like maybe one a month. So you're going to have to stay tuned to the channel. You got to subscribe and you got to comment on the videos and engage with us on the videos. If you do that, then you're entered. It's going to be simple. Um, if you comment on the videos and you're a subscriber, that's how you're going to end up winning. So uh, anyway, take care. Um, I'm going to end up signing out here and uh, it was a pleasure hanging out with you guys. I love it. Uh, it's, it definitely got to be a really long stream, uh, but I think it's a lot of fun. So um, I appreciate you guys hanging out and, uh, and uh, I'm going to get <laughs> sentimental here. Um, but I, I thank you so much for helping me get to 50,000 subscribers. And I look forward to the future and what we can possibly do together um, to make this channel do even more, help more people. Um, yeah, look forward to the opportunities. Take care.